choice. <laughs> I'm sorry if the Star Wars just looking up, we're gonna try to hook that up, but I can't figure out how to. <laughs> I was gonna say, right, this is when Obi-Wan Kenobi was making a choice. <laughs> he let Darth Vader kill him. Uh, anyway, 64% of consumers are comparison shopping. They go to our websites, they go to other websites. How can I give them the information that they need on Piedmont.org so they don't need to go to other websites? Ratings and reviews are super cool, and so that's what we're doing. So we've taken our press gainy results. So we, do a press, we use press gainy to do surveys for our, of our patients. Every single office visit customer at Piedmont gets a survey. We get about 200,000 survey responses a year. We turn those into star ratings for our physicians. We were the second system in the country to do this. And so there's Dr. Mann, he's a urologist on the south side. He's a 4.8 out of five, his customers love him. It has several important benefits. Number one, transparency. Number one is give your customers the information they need to make the best decision for them. Number two is reputation management. If you go and search for Dr. Mann right now and you saw his health grades um, listing where there are reviews, he probably had five or six reviews and he's probably a two stars. The people who take the time to go on to health grades are going there to say some shit about you. This is the speech I gave to the doctors when I was trying to convince them that this was okay. As a marketer, the third and what I feel like is one of the most important uh, benefits is there's a crazy search optimization benefit to this. Google loves reviews. Google loves new content. So every, um, every two days, we upload new comments. So fresh content always on their bios. Always fresh content. And star ratings. So you see right here, this is his Piedmont.org um, bio and the star ratings right there in the search results. He looks just like a product. Because don't help Dr. Man, but he is. <laughs> they don't like to be told that. There's a next level to this that we're working on right now which is to start to surface the information people are looking for. The press gainy surveys are woefully inadequate at getting um, the kind of information that people actually need to know in order to make a decision about where to go and what to do. Customers' view of quality is their experience. That's been proven over and over and over again. Very few of our customers ever look at our quality data. We have a very deep quality section on our website. Nobody ever goes there, ever. They go to these pages all the damn time. And so how could we, so Dr. Mann is a urologist. I suppose I work in healthcare. I should be more familiar with what a urologist does, um, what procedures he or she might do. Um, but let's just say Dr. Mann was a general surgeon who did hernias and other things and your primary care physician who referred you to this general surgeon and said, hey, you got a, you know, they did an x-ray, you got a hiatal hernia, we want to fix it. Wouldn't you like to know how many hernia surgeries Dr. Mann does every year? Wouldn't you like to know what customers say about the experience of getting a surgery from Dr. Mann? More importantly, wouldn't you like to know how long did it take you to go back to work? Like, here are the questions that you're asking yourself, and guess what? That is nowhere to be found, anywhere. And so we're starting um, to roll a pilot out where we're going to start asking our customers the questions that other customers want to know so that we can start putting the information right here, the same place you're finding out all the other information about Dr. Mann. It's really important to us that we give you the information you need. I'm also working on this crazy thing. My digital marketing manager thinks I'm a lunatic because um, I want to be able to sign on, like have a single, single sign on for Piedmont.org that connects to your Facebook account so you could log on with Facebook so that you could see as you go to different parts of the website what your friends like. Think about where you ask the most questions about things, about goods and services. It's your friends and family. And oftentimes you do it in front of everybody on Facebook. 
if you could come to Piedmont.org and see that 20 of your friends like Dr. Mann, like, like his page on Facebook, um, that'd make a difference in your decision to do that.